Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have a set A, which is an interval open at 0, close at 1. We have to prove that it is not compact subset of RD where D is a usual distance. Here at the end, they have mentioned by showing it has no BWP. BWP means bolzano verstrass property. This property says every infinite set has a limit point. Getting? So this is a property uh, BWP. So we are going to prove that it has no BWP. So let me write here. It is enough to prove that it is enough to prove that A has no BWP in RD. Getting? So there is one important result I should mention here that is a set is compact if and only if it has BWP. So that means if you have any compact set, it has then we say it has BWP or if you have any set which has BWP, then we say it is compact. Here we have to prove the set is not compact. Therefore, it is enough to prove it has no BWP. So we are going to prove this set A has no BWP. BWP means every infinite set has a limit point. Here we have to prove it has no BWP. That means we have to find an infinite set which has no limit point in A. Let us see. So let us take one set late K. I am calling it as K. So K is a collection of all real numbers which are in the form of 1 by n where n is a natural number. So let us expand it so you will get an idea of it. Put n is equal to 1, 1 by 1 which is 1. Put n is equal to 2, 1 by 2. n is equal to 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 4 and so on. So how many terms will be there? Infinite. So therefore we have a infinite set. So clearly, clearly k is an infinite subset of A. Ready? So we got an infinite subset of A. So let me remove. So we have this space. Let us use to write. So we have to prove that A has no BWP. That means we have to prove uh, this infinite set has no limit point in A. Let me mention here. Now, to prove that K has no limit point in A. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider any uh, limit point of K. Let us say let, let P be any limit point of K. See, uh, we are familiar with one result. Let me show here. Suppose set such set we have and suppose P is a limit point of that set, then definitely we can find a sequence of points of that set which converges to P. So using that result we can write. So therefore, there exists a sequence Xn of points of K such that such that that sequence Xn converges to P. Getting? So there is one result. If you have any limit point, definitely we can find points, sequence of points of that set which converges to that point P. So here also we got a sequence Xn of points of K which converges to P. Getting? But basically, K is a collection of points which are also in terms of one sequence one by n one by n getting all terms of this k uh, are the terms of a sequence one by n so clearly so therefore xn is uh, i should mention here 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 xn belongs to k for all n belongs to set of natural number therefore xn is subsequence of sequence 1 by n. Since k contains all terms in this form 1 by n and we are taking xn is a sequence of points of k. So therefore xn is a subsequence of 1 by n. But the fact is 
that sequence 1 by n converges to 0. See, if the original sequence is convergent, then its subsequence is also convergent and converges to the same point. So here 1 by n converges to 0, therefore its subsequence xn, it is also convergent and converges to 0. Therefore, that xn converges to 0. See, here we are saying xn converges to p. Here we are saying xn converges to 0. But if you have any convergent sequence, then it will converge to a unique point. Getting it, it cannot converge to two distinct points. So our conclusion is our p is nothing but our 0. So therefore, p is equal to 0. Getting So we started with any limit point of k. We had taken any arbitrary limit point of k and finally what we got, we got that limit point is nothing but 0. That means 0 is the only limit point of k. So let me mention therefore 0 is the only limit point of k. But the fact is that 0 does not belong to this set. Okay, since our set is open at 0, close at 1, it means it does not contain point 0. So therefore, 0 does not belong to uh, A. Okay, make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So therefore, I should mention here, but 0 belong, does not belong to A. It means K has a limit point. How many limit points it has? Only one, which is 0, but it does not belong to A. So therefore, we can say k has no limit point in A. So therefore, k has no limit point in A. So we got an infinite set k, which has no limit point in A. So I should mention here, therefore, infinite, infinite set k, infinite set k has no limit point in A. So therefore, A has no BWP, getting BWP means what? Every infinite set should have a limit point in A, getting or in that set. But see, we got an infinite set which has no limit point in A, therefore it has, A has no BWP. So therefore, BWP in RD, so therefore what can we say? It has no, no BWP, therefore it is not compact, therefore A is not compact in rd since there is one result let us recall it again if you have a compact set then it has bwp and if you have a set with bwp then it is compact so it has no bwp so that's why it cannot be compact so in this way we completed this example make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you